How's it going Pokemon fans? CJ here from Jollyman's YouTube channel bringing here my first game with Garbodor and other stuff. Mostly Garbodor. That's what the whole deck's about. Uh, here's the list. If you want to go ahead and pause it, you can screenshot, you can do whatever. But um, I want to go ahead and play this first game. So uh, I'll see you there. Alright, so what do we got? We got a Volcanion. So I actually have not played this matchup yet. They're they're kind of a no honestly I can't even, I don't even know what kind of commentary I can give because I I actually don't know how this matchup goes. Like, I don't know if I said this in the deck profile because I'm doing that last because I'm lazy and don't feel like putting the get to, the the deck together yet. Also I don't have the carpenters yet, but you know that's not the big thing. Anyways, I don't know if I said this yet, but uh, I actually just picked up the deck today and started playing with it, and now here I am. Yeah, I don't know if that, uh, that's pretty much what I was gonna say. You know, I, you know, I kind of like the deck so far. It's different. I'm used to. It feels like you have to play this deck slow, kind of, like, I mean obviously not something else, like as slow as a, as a Lapras deck, but it feels like, it almost feels like the format's moving to a much slower game, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this deck. I got times it's been good, but at other times I just didn't know how to feel about it. Alright, so our start isn't amazing. Um, really I would I could just like attach energy. Hex Manic doesn't really do anything. He's probably gonna attack next turn. I wanna end, but then that would just give him more cards. But then again, I don't really have anything going. So go ahead play the end didn't really get anything uh, I'll ultra ball I'll grab a trubbish now this could actually this is act this would actually be a matchup where I would actually play the Garbotoxin Garbodor hmm all right so bundle B well actually I don't even know if I should have played that how many items does he have? He might he might play this a little bit slower. Uh, but unfortunately I just have to pass. Alright, so he will use the Scorched Earth. He has two energy in the discard pile now, and he can retreat, and he can actually just use the power heater. I forgot what the attack was. That the attack name was. Alright, so, what is he possibly going to do? Alright, so there's three items, 60 damage so far. He's going to go for Hoopa, probably grab Volcanion, Volcanion, Shaman, or actually maybe just Volcanion, Shaman. I miscounted spaces. And, oh no, he goes through, he goes for all three. I mean, he can only play two. Then even if he did play Shaman, it wouldn't get him much right now. It would get him one card. Alright, there's... Okay, so he has a Skyfield. That makes a lot more sense. So he draws two more cards. What's a discard pile? Four items. Still four items. Hmm. See, there's a fifth item. So as of now, Trash Alliance is hitting for a hundred. He's probably going to retreat into this Volcanion. Yeah, he'll attach, retreat, and I assume Power Heater to put energies. He hasn't played a supporter yet, so he's going to go for an end. He 
Use a steam up, steam up. He... I don't... He can't get a knockout. Max he can do is 3, 4, 3, 150. Am I doing my math right? Yeah, 150. This hand isn't that great. Well, actually, this could do something. Cause like I could evolve, attach, attach, attach all these tools. There's nothing in my discard, so I would just play the Sycamore. He's got a power heater for 90. So let's see, if I attach the choice band and get a double colorless, that would be 120, 140. That's not enough to knock out the Tauros. Let's see, I'll go and attach this. Um, we'll attach... We'll attach that there. Attach that there. I guess we could try to go for damage on this. You know, we're gonna go ahead and play it. It's probably like it'll probably get knocked out this turn, so they won't get stuck in the in the active. And now I could just go ahead and knock it out. Yeah, I think I might do that. I'll play this. And... I think we'll go ahead and play the Lele. Attach that. Attach that just to get it out of our hand. Not attach it, play it. And then, uh, Mad Bull. Because Horn Attack wouldn't have done enough damage. And I actually think I counted the 30 damage in that. And it wouldn't have done 30 damage anyway. And that would do 30 damage more to this. But he's probably going to knock this out. Let's see, so there's another item in the discard. How many items are in the discard right now? 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8... 160 damage with a Garbodor. We're almost one more item and we can one shot Volcanions. And that's if it, they don't have a, uh, a choice ban. Oh, he played, or he switched up the stadiums. So we're going to get rid of the Shaman. Alright, and that's the whole bench. He's going to knock out the Taurus anyway, so... Alright, so... He'll Volcanic Heat, get a knockout. I'll switch into Garbodor, just because it has... Well, I'll switch into Tauros, just because it has the Float Stone. And... Ooh... I can go and get rid of the field blower, or use the field blower to get rid of the float stone. Do I really care about the scorched earth? Uh, let's see. I could just get rid of the other float stone to make switching up e harder each turn. This one also has energy on it, so I think I want to go ahead and get rid of this one. Now I could attach here. You know, actually, he doesn't have that many cards in his deck. Do we want to try to go for that? I think we do. Two cards a turn, that's six turns. And he can't retreat. Well... Yeah, I mean, he would need a switch. He would have to discard energy. I think we go for it. And then what's in the discard? Nothing really that I care about. And we still don't really get anything that I care about. We get into the Versus Seeker. But I think I just start milling him. We get rid of both Lysanders.
Let's see, he probably has a way to get this out of the active. With all those cards, I imagine he does. Alright, so he's going to end, put cards back in his deck. But I mean, that's still 12 cards, that's still 6 turns of attacking. Which isn't bad. Now we have a Lysander. So even if he does try to attack this turn, or like if he gets this out of the active, we can just bring in one of the other ones. That was an odd retreat. Okay, and he's just going to concede. Alright, sorry about the little cut there, but my opponent did concede to the game. Uh, although, I don't really think, I think the game was ours either way. Because, let's see, he would have switched in. Maybe he knocks out the Bunnelby. That's fine. We still have one more. And at that point, we just Lysander up the one of the Volcanians that don't have a Flowstone on it or any energy. We just keep attacking with the Bunnelby to mill him out. Uh, and, again, I can't check because I can't get out of this to go look at my discard. But I believe there was still another Sycamore and another Rescue Stretcher. So I could have potentially... Did I say Sycamore? I meant a uh, Super Rod and a uh, Rescue Searcher, so I could have got Bunnelby's back. Really, I just needed to attack him six times. You know, he could have end or whatever, but I think that game would have been in our favor in the end. So, hopefully you enjoyed it. You know, come back for game two. It'll be up tomorrow. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Share with all your friends. Subscribe as always. Stay jolly.